Never guard like this away from the ball. Look at Anthony Davis. You can never have your back to the ball. You have to open up so you're seeing man and ball. If Anthony Davis knew what was going on, when Damian Lillard comes on this drive, you could easily stunt right here and recover. But look, he has no idea what's going on with this drive, so Damian Lillard has a driving lane he shouldn't have, and it's two points. Why is LeBron James standing in the paint when his man is in the corner? Look at that. Are you kidding me? So, yeah, of course they're going to swing this ball to your man and give you're going to give up a wide-open three. Communicate and transition. Come on. LeBron James or Anthony Davis, someone's got to say, I've got ball. Okay, so somebody can go to this player here. No one says, I've got ball. So both players go to the ball, and it leads to a two-shot foul. You just got to slide with uh, Damian Lillard. Like, if he puts on the Jets, you got to you got to as well. Okay, I mean, look at this player right here. You're, you're, Damian Lillard's on putting on the Jets. You're not. So now you're no longer underneath Damian Lillard. So he's just going to blow right past for an easy two. Don't lean towards the screen. Look at this player right here guarding on the ball. Watch him lean towards the screen. So now that allows uh, Damian Lillard to blow, refuse it, blow right past him in an and one. You have to box out the shooter on a free throw. Russell Westbrook has to go here and box out the shooter. Box out here, box out here. When you don't box out the shooter, now you're susceptible to a long rebound going right back to Damian Lillard for two. What is Anthony Davis doing? Get attached to your man setting this down screen, arms out so this player can't curl Damian Lillard. You let Damian Lillard curl now right into an open three. This delay by Anthony Davis kills this entire play. Stop. Portland has this ball. So start sprinting back now. 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 Look at this delay. Look at this delay. That's all it takes. So now look. Now this a four on four turns into a four on three. Uh, and it's going to end up leading to a two-shot foul. Atrocious gamble by Anthony Davis. Look at this right here, okay? What is this gamble? No, just get back. So, Because now look what happens. That screws everything up. Now this player's got to come over here, and now that's going to leave Damian Lillard wide open for three. My God. What is LeBron James doing? You're guarding on the ball, then you fall asleep guarding on the ball? I'm not sure I've heard this, but look at what... What is this? So, yeah, now you just give up an open three. Wow. This player stopped gingerly walking back. This, Like, right now, you have to sprint over and get into the defensive stance. Look at this player's feet. Are his feet ever set and he's in a defensive stance? No. So this player just gets it and blows right by him, and it's a two-shot foul. And again, there's just no excuse here. Look at the, Here comes a steal. Stop. How, if you're this Lakers player, does this Blazers player get behind you? The only way that happens is if you don't sprint back, which is, look at this delay. And you're not sprinting back, so now it's an alley-oop. Kendrick Nunn has got to show his hands right here. Get your arms wide, okay? Look at Kendrick Nunn. Let's zoom in. Look at, look at his hands. Right, in, this player just, wait, the Blazers are in the bonus, so this player is just going to shoot right into him. I mean, how, a rip through. How, but now it's two shots going to trap this ball handler you've got to rotate to one pass away so this player's got to deny one pass away this player's got to deny one pass away lebron's got to deny one pass away we're not worried about this player all the way here but that just clearly doesn't happen so now it's just going to be a cheap foul and the blazers are heading to the line don't run drop coverage look at how stupid that is the sideline is right here the second this guard hesitates picks up his dribble brings his dribble back which is going to be in like a tenth of a second i can easily recover Okay, instead, you're running drop coverage and giving up open jumpers for no reason. And you have to double here. Damian Jones just gets destroyed by Yusuf Nurkic, okay? So here you got a double. Okay, kick out pass here. This player rotates here. This player rotates here, here. And the man that doubles goes here. All those rotations happen in unison on the first kick out pass. But letting Yusuf Nurkic just abuse Damian Jones doesn't work, and it's a two-shot foul. Nurkic, you've got to get underneath him, first of all, and then as soon as he crosses the three-point line, you have to initiate contact. You have to battle for real estate. When that doesn't happen, look who initiates contact. It's Yusuf Nurkic right now. So now he's got you perfectly sealed, easy catch down low, easy two. What is LeBron James doing here in transition? Stop. Get back. Okay, just get back. Montrez Harrell can take the ball. You match, you get cross-matched in transition all the time. You cannot just leave this Blazers player with no one to guard him, so now it's a layup. 
What is Patrick Beverly doing? You never get back to the middle of nowhere on transition defense. Get to a body. But nope, you're in the middle of nowhere, so now this player gets it, goes right to the rim, two-shot foul. Why am I giving this guard open jumpers for no reason? Get up, push him out this way by hedging. Second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, which will be quick, I can recover. Meantime, backside help right here. Okay, want to throw a skip pass, easily able to recover on the airtime of that pass. But nope, let's just give up an open floater for no reason. So you're Kendrick Nunn here, you're clearly out of position. Okay, so close out by angling your hips this way. So this player, if he goes this way, there's nothing but a second defender to help me. Instead, you get beat away from that help, so now that collapses the defense everywhere and how it's going to lead to an open Damian Lillard three. Not everybody for the Lakers can stand around and try and get this offensive rebound, okay? Like, start. some people have to start to get back. you got to start to get back, okay? The only person that actually ends up getting back. See, look at and no one's moved. No one's moved. So now the Blazers have it, and now they're off to the races because everyone just stuck around to see if an offensive rebound was happening, and it results in a two-shot foul. Horrible gamble here, okay? Yusuf Nurkic's dribble is picked up. What? Are, stop. Just get out to your man. Why are you gambling? Also, why are you even standing in the paint? There's already a double team on Nurkic. You don't need a triple team. But then you gamble, and now you give up an open three to Jeremy Grant. All right, if you're LeBron James, the shot goes up. You've got to see that your man is starting to cherry pick, and you've got to go with him, okay? It doesn't matter who comes up with this rebound. If the Lakers come up with this rebound, you can get back in the play. But if you stick around like you do in Portland comes up with this rebound, then it's going to be an easy Blazers uh, two. What is Anthony Davis doing? This is a down screen. You've got to get attached to your man with your arms out so this player cannot just curl right off it. Look how Damian Lillard is going to curl right off it. Now he's into the lane. Uh, and it's going to eventually lead to a step-back jumper. Don't get back to random spots on the floor, Patrick Beverly. You have to get to a body. When you get to a random spot on the floor, now this player's wide open to go right to the rim for a layup. Anthony Davis, and you're running this dumb drop coverage, you have to stay underneath the ball until this guard can fight over the top. Look at this. You leave. This guard is, yeah, in no position to guard one-on-one, so now this player's going to get right to the rim for a layup. You're Russell Westbrook, why are you stopping here, okay? You're guarding the ball. This player here is going to fake like he's going to set a down screen and slip it. If you're Russell Westbrook, you should be just chasing through this down screen anyways. There's no there's no ever stopping. Look at this. Look at how Russell Westbrook stops right there. So now his man's here, and he's here. So now that he's gonna, just going to get it off this dribble handoff and be wide open for three. There's no such thing as jogging back or backpedaling in transition. You have to sprint back so your feet are set in a defensive stance. Patrick Beverly is going to do none of that. Look at this. You just backpedaled all your way in, and now it's a goaltend. Why am I giving up open threes for no reason? This guard's got to fight over the top. Just get up if you're Anthony Davis. Push Damian Lillard out this way and hedge. Second, he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, which will be quick. I can recover. Meantime, backside help right here. Damien Lillard want to throw a skip pass all the way here. Plenty of time to recover. But this guard's got to fight over the top, and it's a three-shot foul. Don't lean towards the handoff, okay? If Damien Lillard comes off this handoff, then you're just going to go through, okay? But you're leaning towards the handoff like this. So now <laughs> Damien Lillard's open for three. You have to just get back and be in a defensive stance. Stop. Right here. Okay, right now you got to just get your feet set. Defensive stance. Your feet are never set. Look at how you move up as Damian Lillard catches the ball. So now he's going to blow right by you and it's an and one. Why are you going under this ball screen when there's this much space between the ball handler and the screener? You can easily get up and over the top of the screen. Okay? But instead you're going under and just giving up a practice jumper. This is so elementary. The shot goes up. Stop. If you're Anthony Davis... Get your whole body into this player and use your butt and box him out. You can't be boxing out. Look at this. You're actually, honestly, now being boxed out for an offensive rebound. And this Blazers play, and you're forced to foul. Portland's going to the line because they're in the bonus. Hendrick Nunn is in help side position right here. You can even move up the line a little bit. So you've just got to get up and angle your body and force him into this help. You're going to get beat away from any help. 
So now the help has to come at the rim, and it's just going to lead, uh, well, as you can see right here, that now screws up box out assignments because now Drew Eubanks is in position to get an easy offensive rebound. And you can see uh, uh, he gets fouled, and it's two shots because Portland's in the bonus. want to be in the gaps and help. Your feet cannot have to take you inward. Look at this player right here. What, look, are his feet moving inward? Yes, he is. So now you're never going to get back outward, and this player is going to have an open jumper. Come on, LeBron. You cannot have to take your feet inward if you're helping. Look at the look at his feet. Where are his feet? Are they going inward? Yeah, they are. So now you have no chance of getting back out. And this player is going to rip and go but, and but for a layup. What is LeBron James doing? You cannot have to take your feet inward. Look at LeBron James's feet, how they have to go inward. So now you're never getting back outward, and it's just a wide-open jumper. Okay, if you're, if you're this player right here for the Lakers, you've got to call out that your man is coming to gamble. So you've got to be telling LeBron, uh, watch left, watch left, so he can know to get, pick the ball up. Okay, instead, you, you don't do that. Or LeBron James just doesn't listen to you because now the Blazers are off to the races and it's a layup. I mean, if you're LeBron James, this is so elementary. Please box out. Just box this player out. You're going towards the rim, so now this becomes a 50-50 ball for no reason and an easy putback. What is Patrick Beverly doing? You switch this dribble handoff. Like, stop. Stop sagging. Get up and force this player this way where LeBron James is waiting to help. Instead, you just sag and sag and sag, and now it's an open jumper. All right, one, you cannot switch a ball screen like this with Damian Lillard. you got to be level to your man and ready to guard. Two, this gamble's horrible. Look at this little gamble right there. That's all it takes for Damian Lillard to blow right by you to the rim for two. What is Anthony Davis doing? This is a cross screen right here. Your man is setting this cross screen. You need to get attached to your man and jam this player as he comes through so that this player can get on the other side. When you don't do that, now look at now this player is going to cut a uh, back door right to the rim for two. Again, so right now Patrick Beverly wants to help you. This is Damian Lillard, okay? So flip your hips and force Damian Lillard this way. See that never happens. So now look, now Damian Lillard is just going to hit a step back three because you never forced him into any help. This is a joke. This ball screen is set at half court. You have to go under this ball screen, okay? Instead, you go over, and now Damian Lillard can get right to the lane, and it's going to be a two-shot foul because Portland's in the bonus. Pathetic defense by Russell Westbrook. First of all, you're leaning towards a screen that isn't being set on this angle. It's being set on this angle. And then what are you going to do? Then you're going to make an atrocious gamble. So look, look at the space this guard has to split through because of that gamble. So now he's into the lane, collapsing the defense, and it's going to eventually lead uh, to an easy Blazers too. If you're running this stupid drop coverage, Anthony Davis has to stay underneath the ball. You have to trust that your backside help is right here on this player's role. You cannot, you ha until this player is able to guard one-on-one, -on -one, is Anthony Davis, on no, Anthony Davis is not, never underneath the ball. So this player just goes right to the rim for a layup. You cannot sag on Damian Lillard at the end of the game with the Lakers up one. Stop. you got to get up right here. Okay, this player needs to turn around so he's seeing the ball and his man. But look, I have the, so I have the option then to send him here into help or send him here into help. Sagging on Damian Lillard answers nothing. This is never how you guard away from the ball. Look at Patrick Beverly. You have to be having your back to the baseline so you can see ball and see man. So now when this player comes through, I can just stunt and recover. But when you're not seeing the ball, you have no idea what's going on. So this player gets right to the rim for a layup.